Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to save lots of money by overriding your toner low alarm on your brother printer. Alright, so all we're going to do, I have this printer, I've taken it out of the office and put it here in the kitchen uh, just so it's easier to see. Open up the printer, take the cartridge out, Press the green tab here and lift the gray part out. Now this is actually the toner cartridge itself. Now if you look right here, here's, here's the, the fill port for the toner. Just to the right of this fill port is a clear plastic lens. And that lens shines, there's inside the printer, there's a laser beam that shines through here and there's a detector on the other side. And that detector, when it starts seeing light, it tells the printer that the toner is low. So all I'm going to do is take a little piece of putty. Now this is this is a piece of modeling clay that I have. A little, uh, it's like an oil-based clay. Uh, you can use really anything. Um, you just want to plug that hole up there. Now I've seen other people do the same thing with masking tape. Now the masking tape is is uh, it's partly see-through so uh, if you do masking tape you want to double it up or triple it up and even possibly uh, put a piece on the other side here too but using the putty all you need to do is the one side put it back in put the cartridge back in close it up and you should get lots more use out of it now uh, here's the actual statistics that I had uh, on the last one of these that I did. I couldn't believe this myself. My wife is an accountant who works out of her home, or out of our home. Uh, I uh, am in the process of writing a book, and I printed my book out three or four times. My wife went through tax season 3575. That's 3,575 pages is what we got out of that last toner cartridge that we just used. And that it, it kept on going and going and going. We, I kept checking it because I couldn't believe that my wife hadn't replaced it already. 3,575 pages is what we got uh, until the toner, the pages started getting a little, a little. Uh, it wasn't, it, it wasn't hitting everywhere uh, on the pages. So at that point, I replaced it. But I just could not believe the results in doing this. So hopefully you'll have the same results and I wish you the best. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Again, if you need more information, just look at the link below this video if you're watching this on YouTube and you will see a link to frugalberry.com, uh, more information about saving money on your desktop printer. Go in peace.